Hi, this is Roxana for Avid Diva, and today happens to be day 50. We're on a halfway point on our 100 day challenge. And being that it also happens to be Wednesday, middle of the week, um, we, it is Dementia Wednesday, and today we're going to talk about a particular thing that works for dementia patients. Now, I, like I told you, as I discover things that work in, in terms and all that other stuff. I'm putting it in the easiest terminology possible for us normal humans. Um, today we're going to talk about an activity that was created for children that helps dementia patients. What am I talking about? Well, before I tell you, I'm going to tell you a little story. When I was young, 26, 27, 28, I wanted, like every parent, to give my daughter the best education possible. Now, back in those days, there was a particular type of school that I wanted to enroll my daughter in. However, economic, economics being a concern, uh, we could never afford it because it was $500, $600 a month, and I really could not afford that back in those days. So that education was scrapped, and we did give her the best education we could. But that always stuck in the back of my head because I was very interested in this particular teaching method. This teaching method was created by an Italian teacher who came up with a complete system of educational tools and exercises and activities. Well, as it turns out, those activities are very good for dementia patients. And I'm talking about Montessori activities. Montessori is a teaching method for children. It, is, it has also shown in the last few years to be very effective in keeping their minds busy so that they feel like they're contributing to the family as they go in the decline. Now, if you have the means and the way, you can go online, you can Google uh, Montessori activities for Alzheimer's patients, and you'll see they sell entire kits for $49, $50, $100. They sell different things you can do. Now, if you're on a budget like we are, um, there are several things you can do. Now, I'm going to give you a couple of options of what I'm looking at to help her. Um, the options that I'm looking at, I actually have a Pinterest. I don't know if you guys have Pinterest, but if you have Pinterest, you can also, in the search bar, write Montessori activities, Alzheimer's patients, and you will get tons and tons of information on what it is, how it works, and different kinds of exercises. Now, one of the options that I've seen in different aspects of is, for example, you take a bunch of buttons of different colors and you put them on the table and you give the person a little jar with each color. For example, if you have red, blue, yellow, and green buttons, you have four jars, one red, one green, one yellow, one uh, blue, and you just tell them to go ahead and put the right button in the right color cup. Uh, another option that you can have is you can uh, give them a bunch of money and separate it in pennies, quarters, dimes, that sort of thing. That'll help them with their visual stimulation. It will make it easier for them to figure out the colors and whatnot. Um, another thing that I've seen on the boards, um, they make uh, they make this covers for people. Oh my God, I forgot the word, but um, quilts is the word. They make quilts with different little things that they can touch, kind of like what little kids have. I don't know if you remember, if you have kids, when my daughter was young, they had this quilts that you created and you had one patch that was like uh, rough fabric. Another patch might be like f fake fur another patch would be very soft and that would help the kids with their tactile um, abilities and the same thing is true for older adults you can create a quilt with little ribbons and things that they can look at and they can touch and they can feel them and that's another exercise that you can do with them you can get them the big gigantic puzzles for little kids that have like maybe 10 or 15 pieces and make them do that um, another exercise that you can make them do is um, fold different uh, fabrics or towels. I was going to uh, re 
I'm 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 in, and I'm into recycling and reusing and whatnot. And I do donate a lot of whatever we don't use here. And I had a stack of towels and I decided not to donate them for now because I'm just going to put them all in a little bag and give them to her every day so she can fold them. Now, the important thing about helping them uh, through Montessori exercises and because of the stage, depending on the stage they're in, you don't correct them. Like if, if your family member puts a red button on the blue cup, when so long as they're done you go ahead ah, great job and you reinforce the positive aspect of it as opposed to a kid where you would teach him no this one goes here and this one goes there no you don't do that with the older adults because you don't want to um, make them feel like they're useless you don't want to make them feel like they're wrong they already know that there's something going on in their head they don't need any more reinforcement on that um, there are tons and tons of examples on Pinterest. And like I said, you can also Google different things you can do. As I get more and more information, I will continue to bring it to you. Again, this is Roxana for Avidiva. Today is Dementia Wednesday. You have a wonderful day.